सेक्शन नंबर टू एक्सप्लोरिंग गेट वैग्राउंड एंड डॉक्टर सॉफ्टवेयर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन मैनेजमेंट टूल्स एंड वील बी एक्सप्लोरिंग गेट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर ओवरव्यू ऑफ द वर्जन कंट्रोल व्हाट इज गेट एंड इट्स वर्किंग इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ गेट एंड बिफोर गोइंग फर्दर वी विल स्टेप टूवर्ड्स गेट हब गेट इट्स ओवरव्यू एंड हाउ एन अकाउंट इज क्रिएटेड ऑन गेट हब एंड एट द एंड get operations and its workflow starting with what exactly is version control version control is a multi user version management system that manages the changes you make in your project which can be an addition of files changing or modifying the files deleting the files and then finally saving them This process is done several times by a user or a developer. These changes are saved in the version control system as snapshots. Version control keeps track of all the changes referenced as version numbers. That include when the changes were done, who made the changes, why was it done, and contents of the changes. Some of the mostly used configuration management tools are Apache's subversion system which is called as SVN concurrent version system CVS Git and Mercurial In this video we will be exploring Git and its working What is Git Git is a distributed version control system it's not centralized like uh, other older versions which were SVN and CVS it does have a remote repository to which the users connect to it and pull their code from the remote repository and have it on the local repository whatever the changes the user is doing is doing it on the local repository so that means you don't need to have a connection with the remote repository all the time operations normally done is pull edit commit and push another concept is of branching in git in which the master branch remains the same and if some developer or a team needs to test a feature then they create a branch for us for those specific features and start working on it without disturbing the master branch once working on the feature branch is complete it can be merged back to the master branch we have a remote repository two users are concurrently working on the remote repository they pull their code and have it on their own local repository and start working on it once they are finished with their code they can push it back to the remote repository downloading and installing git home page of git is git-scm.com this is the home page of git if you scroll down to its download page let's go to the downloads we'll be using linux the command you need to give is apt-get install git before installing any package on your linux machine you should give this command of apt get update this is updating the apt repository on your linux machine now in order to install git you need to give the command apt get install git so the next step is to configure git with username and email for that we need to give this command now let's move to github a slight overview of it and creating an account on git github is a repository hosting service it has a web based graphical interface provide access control it has unlimited public repositories limited private repositories and you can have a number of collaborators on the plans which github gives you and you have organizational accounts option also for creating an account go to github.com you need to give your username an email address and a password and git operations what we will cover is first of all we'll be initiating a local git repository linking it with the github on the internet adding files branching it merging it pushing it to the github let's create a directory my project let's move into it git it will initialize it as a git repository so in the git operations we have initiated our git repository now we will be linking it with the github git remote add origin and within the inverted commas we will give the 
location of the project. On GitHub, I have created a project by the name of Git Training. So this will be the complete command. So your origin has been added, which is on GitHub. This command will pull the repository, which we have mentioned up there. The only file over there was readme.md. Now, if we create a file that is context.html, this will be listed in your current folder. Now, the git status will show you that there is one untracked file, which is context.html, which we just created it. Now, there is no untracked file, but there is one new file over there. That means something has been added. It has reached to the staging area. It goes with git commit hyphen m and in inverted commas you give you type in the message what exactly was is being done that you have added a context.html file. If we check the status again, so everything is clean over here. You are on the branch master, nothing to commit. There is no any change on your local system which has not been committed. So using the touch command, we have added two more files. Now check git status. By giving the command git add minus a, multiple files can be added. Now git status shows that the these two new files have been added. After adding a file, we need to give the commit. Git commit minus n and the text. Two files have been changed. Now shows that nothing is there to be committed. So we have done the adding of files. Now the next step we'll do is branching it. Git branch and the branch name which i'm using it as branch one once the branch is created go to that branch you need to give the checkout command if we do ls now we have contacts people services these were the files which we inherited from the master branch and another file support.html we have created in branch one git status shows you that one new file is created and commit is needed so in the message we are mentioning it that we have added support.html in branch one. Now let's move on to master. Now we are in the master branch. If you do ls, here you don't see the support file which was created in the branch one. So after doing the branching, we'll be merging our branch to the master file. Since we'll be merging the branch into the master, so we need to be in the master branch with this command we are merging branch one into the master one file was changed that is support.html if we do ls over here now we have that support.html file here and at the end we will push our code to github we generate an ssh key locally over here and that public key we will post it onto the github account so that we are able to push our code from the local repository to the github account ssh key gen will generate those keys we will copy this uh, key from here here on github we we'll go to settings ssh and gpg keys we'll add a new key just name it as uh, ssh1 and paste the key over here finally add ssh key in order to test that our keys are working, this is the command we give. You are successfully authenticated by GitHub. The command we'll be needing it is as git push origin to master. So once you have done the push, go back to your GitHub account and uh, go to this repository. And over here, you'll see all the files which were added locally in our local repository has now been available here at git so these are the processes which is form a git flow so in the next video we'll be on vagrant which gives a lightweight reproducible and portable development environments